okay so we will see how the traces can be drawn on that basic problem see line is perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp one end is 10 mm in front of vp and mm above p so we can easily fix this okay, we know this basic problems rs it is parallel to hp at the same time it is perpendicular to vp 20 mm above hp for this how a trace can be obtained is if you extend this line rs it can definitely meet the plane vp this is the vertical trace if you extend this rs it at one point it will meet the plane vp this is vertical trace okay see if rs is extended at one point it is meeting the plane vertical plane so that's being line parallel to hp no just the horizontal plane okay so 20 mm above hp it is parallel to horizontal plane even if you extend keep on extending still the line is parallel to horizontal plane so we can solve the answer for this question so basic thing you know that in the front view is alone visible and uh, all this hidden for view can be either okay still it is try zone in the view so the amount you can see yes r dash but it is r dash okay as is so discuss there is no horizontal trace if you extend the projector how many mm is in front of it 10 is in front of it so 10 mm will be being 10 mm below x y you can find rs length of the line is 25 mm okay rs 25 mm below x y plus r and s even if you keep on extend this line there is no trace on with respect to the handle plane you keep on extending still the line rs is parallel to horizontal plane so no horizontal trace we can see why uh, similar problem which is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp parallel to vp perpendicular to hp so in this case perpendicular parallel to v line if you still extending extending it will be parallel to x if you extend perpendicular to hp means what one point definitely one point will meet the horizontal plane so horizontal trace be obtained. so this is basic 20 mm in front of vp 35 mm above hp and qs 10 mm basic data is already we discussed see the pq line is extended at meeting the horizontal plane that point is called horizontal trace from the top view p is visible to us q is invisible okay we can say that so PQ, what is the total length is uh, 20 mm in front of VP. Okay, 20 mm in front of VP point P. P is visible, Q is invisible. So horizontal trace, no vertical trace for this particular problem. In the front view, I can clearly see this PQ line, total length as 25. Okay, 25 mm long. Point P is 35 mm above HP. P dash, so 10 plus 25, it is 35 above XY no vertical trace why line is parallel to vp if you extend the line keep on extending the line pq still it is parallel to vertical plane so no trace can be obtained with respect to vertical plane that's why it is no vertical trace similarly we can solve for line parallel to both the planes if a line is parallel to both the planes means then whatever the plane you can extend the line still it is parallel to both the planes if it is parallel to both the planes means simply it is no traces already we solved the exact problem for traces alone we include or find its traces means whenever the line is parallel to both the planes there is no traces now we can see line inclined to one and parallel to vp if it is parallel to vp same concept no vertical trace if it is inclined to vhp horizontal trace can be obtained we will discuss how it can be solved so this is common problem it will be easy for us to solve okay
and the easy for us to solve this is the basic thing already we discussed so i uh, run through this problem now we can see how solve obtain the traces in the horizontal now this is the incline line so you can extend this line to cut the xy reference line okay extend this incline line this is the true length line this is not a true length so you can extend the true length line this is the true length no so you can extend this uh, projections of front view a dash b dash a dash b dash to cut xy so you can extend and make a point as h dash okay for obtaining the horizontal trace these two points has to be meet the two uh, views has to be met each other so you can extend a as well as from h dash it will meet at one point so draw a projector from both ends from h dash also you have to draw the projector from h dash you extend the projector this a you have to extend the projector this is the horizontal trace okay this is the horizontal trace with respect to horizontal plane so horizontal plane we obtain the horizontal trace what about vertical trace line is parallel to vp okay line is parallel to vp so no vertical trace that has to be also written. no vertical trace and another problem possible is uh, parallel to hp inclined at an angle of uh, vp okay see parallel to hp inclined at an angle of 35 degree to vp with this you can clearly say if it is parallel to hp means no horizontal trace we have to identify the vertical trace alone okay this is basic thing i don't want to repeat the same what we discussed in the previous sessions uh, again the same what is the projection incline line this is the projection of incline line you can extend the projection of incline line until it cuts the xy reference the same procedure this is being uh, top view it simply it is v vertical trace extend the projector from v and from c dash it will meet at one point this is correspondingly in the vertical plane above xy we obtain the vertical trace line is parallel to hp no horizontal trace if you extend that particular line which is parallel to horizontal plane if you extend if you keep on extending still the line is parallel to a plane no trace can be obtained so that's why it is no horizontal trace now we will solve a problem of with the traces line inclined to both the planes and also this is somehow different from uh, what we discussed eight problems we discussed in the line inclined to both the planes here one more data is different from the previous cases read the question line a b inclined at 25 degree to hp measures 80 mm in the top view read it carefully again this 25 degree is the true inclination with respect to hp 80 mm in top view top view is 80 mm not true length this is also not incline inclination of top view this is inclination of line true length line ab this 80 mm is the top view length end a is the first is in the first quadrant this is for yes first angle projection we are following end a is in the first quadrant this is known that are no need to confuse 25 mm from hp and 15 mm from vp what is the meaning of this 25 mm from hp means 25 mm above hp 15 mm in front of vp so a locus of a dash and a can be easily fixed 20 mm 25 mm above hp 15 mm in front of vp now this is the different data for us n b is at equal distance from both the planes both the reference planes n b is at equal to both the reference planes this is what new to us n b is at equal distance from both the planes because to fix the point b no data is given only thing they stated here is n b is at equal distance from both the reference planes so we have to identify how to fix this locus of b dash and locus of p draw the projections of a b once again they have asked the same question true length and true inclination and you have to locate the traces so we can solve the problem x y whenever 
the traces is asked in your question leave some portion in the left hand side of the xy reference line after that you can start solving the problem so that's why i left some more some portions in the left hand side for completing the traces so for uh, this is the projectors of a dash and uh, a about is 25 mm above xy this is 25 mm from hp 15 mm from vp so 25 mm above hp as locus of a dash 15 mm below xy in front of vp is the locus of a and correspondingly point a can be fixed okay and for clearly marking the traces i have marked the dimensions in the right hand side okay for marking the traces in the left hand side I marked the dimensions in the right side. Okay. Now, what is the next data? 25 degree true inclination is given 80 mm top view. So, in the line inclined to both the planes, problem number 7 and 8, we have similar data. Top view length is given. So, you can come draw the 80 mm in the top view. 80 mm in the top view. From the A top view, you can extend the projector to identify the true length in the front view. So from the top view, you can extend the projector to identify the true length in the top view. So how can we identify the true length? In problem number 7 and 8, what we discussed is true length is given. So what we did in, the, in those cases, A as a center, we use that particular uh, true length as radius. We drawn an arc to cut this projector. But in this problem, only inclination with respect to HPE is given. So easily we can solve this a dash as center use protractor mark 25 degree that 25 degree inclination line will cut at one point through this projector i repeat a dash as center use the protractor mark 25 degree at one point 25 degree inclination line will cut this projector and mark that as point b1 as complete complete a dash and b1 dash okay complete a dash and b1 dash okay this is the locus of b dash this is locus of b dash so how we completed the locus of b dash through point b1 dash we can draw the locus of b dash parallel to x y the true length is completed true length is completed with the help of theta is equal to 25 degree okay with the help of theta is equal to 25 degree okay so the theta 25 degree is completed front view true length also completed now you can locus of b dash is fixed in the front view locus of b dash is fixed in the front view read the question end b is at equal distance from this is both there is a mistake this is both end b is at equal distance from both the reference planes you can measure the distance from x y to the locus of b dash using scale okay what is the total length from x y to locus of b dash is 62 now you can use this same length 62 to fix the locus of b in the top view so you can use the same length 62 to fix the locus of b in the top view now the locus of b can be fixed the locus of b is fixed we can solve the easily solve the problem okay now you can take a as center b1 as radius already this a dash b1 dash inclined line is made parallel to x y if we are rotating means we can easily obtain the another view another view is the top view so a as a center b1 as radius draw an arc to cut the locus of b mark point b a b is our a b is our top view of the line a b okay from this uh, we can fix the front view from b you extend the projector to identify point B in the locus of B dash. So from B, extend the projector to identify the B dash in the locus of B dash. Now you can join A dash and B dash is the front view of line AB. Front view of line AB. If the front view is completed, means 
we can rotate and then you can extend the projector a dash b dash can be rotated to as b2 dash now a dash as center b dash as radius drawn an arc to cut the locus of a dash because this inclined front view is made parallel to xy now you have to extend the projector to complete the true length in the top view extend the projector from b2 dash to locus of b to fix point b2 now you can join a and point b2 for completing the true length in the top view okay true length in the top view now the question is find its true length and true inclination with vp is asked <coughs> true inclination of vp is asked so use the scale to measure what is the true length of line a dash and b1 dash or a and b2 using the scale if you measure it is 88 mm is the answer and uh, use protractor measure the inclination with respect to vp nothing but inclination of line a b2 with respect to locus of b so phi is equal to 32 degree so simple projections also completed true length and true inclinations with the vp also completed now you have to locate the traces here locating the traces you have to be careful don't extend the true length line you have to extend the projection line which means a dash b dash this a dash b dash thick line has to be extended until it touches the x y similarly a b top view line has to be extended until it touches the x y reference line okay until it touches the x y reference line this true length not true length line a dash b dash a dash b dash is the front view length so front view line has to be extended until it touches the x y reference line similarly this a b has to be extended until it touches the x y reference line so what we did in the basic problem after touching the x y reference line we made one line with projector it is x y okay we did the same after that you can extend the a b a what is a b a b is the top view length of line line b so a b has to be extended until it touches x y and you can extend up to this line has to be this projector has to be cutted <coughs> after cutting this projector h we can fix vertical trace and horizontal trace in vertical plane it is vertical trace in horizontal plane it is horizontal trace this is the data with respect to h so this is correspondingly horizontal trace so from this horizontal plane this is the horizontal plane data top view extender to identify the horizontal trace how we supposed to fix the vertical trace now from this here from the xy reference line wherever it, this this uh, front view trace is extended no from the front view we extended until it touches the xy we marked it as h after that we projected to identify the horizontal trace so from the top view we extended the uh, traces it touches the xy reference line here from here you can extend the projector to touch the front view okay so this is point v you can extend the projector from here this is correspondingly vertical trace this is correspondingly vertical trace once again i repeat for traces alone because traces alone is new for us now so from the front view a dash b dash extend the a dash b dash as thin line until it cuts the x y reference line after cutting the xy reference line you mark a point as h or h dash so from h dash you extend the projector perpendicular to xy up to anywhere else okay after that you extend the top view line what is the top view line top view is ab you extend the top view line as a thin line until it touches this projector okay where you extended the projector from point h so this is a correspondingly horizontal trace from the top view horizontal plane from the top view you extended the project 
extend that line which touches the H projector is horizontal trace. Similarly, you have to locate the vertical trace. So while extending the top U, at which point it is touches XY? That can be named as V. So from V, we extend the projector, it touches the vertical plane data. Vertical plane data is front view. So front view, this is correspondingly vertical trace. Okay. Similarly, you can uh, locate the traces of all the previous eight problems. So whenever the traces is asked, always try to leave a comfortable space in the left side. If you started from the <laughs> nearer to the left hand side, then you may not find a sufficient phase to complete the traces. <laughs>